So today I'm going to show you the best free antivirus software for Windows 7 or Windows 10. If you have this coming up underneath your icon messages, it says important message, total of two messages, find an antivirus program online, important. So I'm going to show you how to do that for free today in this tutorial. So let's get right into it because every day we tech in it, every day we tech in it. Please do subscribe. Now let's get after it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a new tab in your internet browser and type in this website address key for key. I know it's a pain in the ass, but I will also link it up in the description below so that should be much easier for you guys so if for some reason this screen comes up that I'm about to show you hang on let me resize it I was making that easier for you guys so if for some reason this screen right here comes up whenever you click on that URL or whenever you type it in don't worry about it all you gotta do is come up here to the search box and then you're going to type this in. I'm going to paste it. It will also be in the description below if you just want to copy and paste it. Then click search. We're in the United States here. And then you're going to click on the first link right here. Then as you can see this page will come up depending on what language you would like. Click that language for us it's going to be English Windows 7 64 bit then you're going to click save bada bang bada boom alrighty then what you're going to do is come over here and sorry I have a dual monitor set up you're going to click yes and then you're going to click next you're going to click I accept join the customer enhancement improvement program depends on if you want to send them all your information I personally do not if no firewall is turned on, turn on Windows Firewall Recommended. That's probably a good idea. Alrighty, so now this program is installing. As you can see. Ooh. You're successfully completed the Windows Essentials installation wizard yay alrighty so as you can see PC status at risk that is not good so it's going to download some updates and stuff like that for us and then it's probably a good idea to go ahead and scan your PC for possible viruses or issues that it might have also you can come over here to the settings and adjust different things so it will automatically scan your PC um, and I would do it at a time when you're not typically using your PC so also it's gonna have a lot of different updates um, very regularly probably at least once a week you're going to want to um, update Microsoft security essentials because you got to stay up to date with all of uh, the latest things that are basically going to mess up your PC that you don't want if you do not update this program regularly it's pretty much useless so make sure you do that any problems that it finds with your PC are going to be right here and you're going to want to basically remove when it finds anything you're going to want to click remove all to get them off your PC now as you can see it's doing a quick scan but 
I'm going to go ahead and let it do a quick scan, but you're going to want to do a full scan on your PC when you first put this on. Secondly, run as scheduled scan on my PC. Let's do a full scan. When? Let's do Monday at 9 a.m. Check for the latest virus and spyware before running scheduled scan. Yes, that's a good idea. This is a good idea. Limit CP usage during scan. Two. Let's go 80%, but if your PC is slow, you probably want to limit it more. Yes. And you can just come through here and change these presets. Secure alert level. Recommended action. You really can't go wrong with recommended action, but you can, you know, click remove, quarantine it. Um, I just leave mine on recommended action. Um, turn on real time protection. Sounds good to me. Okay. Scan removable disk. Yes, always a good idea. Create restore point before removing, running, or quarantining detected items. That's probably not a bad idea, but I'm not going to click that. Remove quarantine items after. Let's give it a week. Scan file samples automatically. When ch -ch -ch. Maps, basic, advanced membership. Yes. Let's see if there's any more updates no updates alrighty so this is just going to continue to scan my PC and like I said you can click cancel and do a full scan I'm just gonna let this run through and then do a full scan but that's all there is to it as you can see as you can see if we go back down here to our messages oh bam we only have one message now and we have antivirus software for free and now won't be coming up with that annoying message saying we need antivirus software and we'll be fully protected so I really appreciate you guys watching this video please do subscribe 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 and let me know if this video helped you guys out or if it didn't I always love your feedback good or bad cuz every day we took on it every day we take in it every day we take in it please do subscribe thanks a lot guys bye